In this demo, we will look at how to use a Informatica workflow to stitch multiple tasks together, where some of the tasks are related to execution of mappings. And the last task here is to send an email out to the administrator of ABC Bank that uh, the workflow has completed and the data has been loaded to the data warehouse. The first two mappings relate to fetching data from Twitter and parsing the data for stock ticker symbols. The third and the fourth mapping relate to calculating the average risk and average popularity appetite for customers and matching that with the uh, risk and popularity for the stocks that were picked, for, picked on that day. And once there is a match, we make specific recommendations to customers on stocks that they would be interested in purchasing on that day. And then finally, we load all of this data into the data warehouse using this last mapping. In the previous demo scenario, we looked at how the daily stock risk profile is calculated. So we're going to uh, not cover this mapping in this demo scenario. We're going to cover the fourth mapping. So let's go look at how the daily recommendations are done. But before that, let me launch this workflow first. This is the infa cmd command that allows me to run from the CLI uh, a workflow. So I have mentioned the application name, the workflow name, and I've associated it with the domain. And I'm going to hit enter to start this workflow. Okay, the workflow instance has started. So let's go back and understand how the daily recommendations mapping is designed and how it would run as part of the workflow. In this daily uh, recommendations mapping, which is the final mapping in a series of uh, tasks uh, that are executed as part of the workflow, we have the Oracle Warehouse Appliance into which the data is loaded. Um, this is a uh, Oracle uh, source to which we connect, uh, target to which we connect to. And uh, on the other end is the maplet that actually combines the data about customers and the stock picks to make specific recommendations. And what we here have here are lookups that tell us what the risk terms are for um, the risk that the customer is willing to take for, to pick a stock, the popularity terms, and the customer's contact detail. Um, and then finally, we format the data, and then we write it out to the Oracle Warehouse Appliance. Let's dive deeper and look at the maplet that we have created for combining the average risk and popularity appetite of a customer with the daily uh, risk and popularity profile of stocks. What we have here uh, are multiple sources. The first source is the output of uh, the previous mapping, which calculated the daily uh, stock popularity and risk. Um, and then this is a historical popularity and risk profile for the stock. So we take the daily uh, data and put it into a directory. In this case, we would put it into a, uh, a directory and then we would read from the source file directory on all of the data. And then uh, we, would, we would combine this data, the historical data, with the customer data. So in this case, let me select the maplet that computes the customer's transaction over a period of time. So let's look at the maplet that evaluates the um, daily user activity and in some way combines that information with the historical activity and makes specific recommendations. So this is the daily user activity on the ABC Bank's website. Uh, this is the data that, that represents that information. Uh, the reason this is needed is so that we make recommendations to customers who have logged into the website today. Therefore, we don't reach out to the millions of other customers who may not have be interested in picking a stock today. So that is this information. This information here is uh, data about historical transactions that customers have made over a period of time. This is the information that's brought into the Hadoop cluster via Fast Clone. When we combine both of this data, we get historical transaction information for users who have logged into the ABC Bank website today. 
now that we have the data we remove the duplicates and invalid records and further use this information to join it with the historical stock popularity and risk therefore for customers who have logged into the website today based on the transaction history over a period of time we uh, look at the historical popularity and risk value for the stocks and thereby compute uh, the average risk appetite and popularity appetite for this customer based on the stock picks he made so let's say John as a customer picked Apple on 12th of December 2011 and on that day if Apple had a uh, popularity and risk rating of uh, you know medium uh, for popularity and risk is quite high then we know that on that day the customer made a choice for the stock with the popularity rating of uh, you know um, high and uh, medium and high for the risk as well so we calculate that over a period of time and calculate the average risk and average popularity picks of the stocks for the customer and then finally we combine that information with the information that we have for today on the stocks as with regards to popularity and risk so today um, if there is Cisco that's trending at a popularity rating of uh, high and a risk rating of high then we would use that information and combine that with John's average risk and average popularity appetite and see if there's a match for John to pick the Cisco stock. Now that we have made all of that uh, determination based on the average risk and average appetite of uh, the customer, we then look up the information about the customer, the popularity term and the risk term, and we finally format the data. Let's do a data viewer on this one. Let's run the data viewer on this uh, final transformation before we write it into the Oracle data warehouse. So we have this information uh, that Bank of America is a stock that's recommended to customer with ID uh, 10110091 and the name of the customer is uh, Christini and uh, the risk term or the popularity term for Bank of America is high and high and we have made a determination that this customer would be interested in this stock given this risk term and popularity term for today. So that explains the logic of the mapping it is important to note that only Informatica has the broadest set of capabilities to consistently and reliably access all types of transaction and interaction data at various latencies and data volumes, including batch, trickle feed, replication, and real time streaming. As you can see in this case, we took data from the daily user activity, we took data from historical activity, we took data from transactions, and we were able to combine all of that information to make meaningful recommendations to customer on stocks. It is also important to note that Informatica enables you to easily coordinate, schedule and manage all interrelated processes and workflows to simplify operations and really meet your SLAs. Now we have this workflow that helps us combine all of these uh, mappings and at the end of it also send us an email when the workflow is complete so that we know that we can we have loaded the data into the data warehouse for uh, recommendations to be made to customers, whoever log into the website. It is also important to know that um, Informatica provides the ability to process data in Hadoop without all the data having to be staged in Hadoop prior to processing. For example, some of the transaction information was brought from the Oracle database in the source into the Hadoop cluster um, using some of the tools that Informatica provides. And, and finally, Informatica enables you to reuse your existing power center mappings and deploy the execution on Hadoop, rapidly increasing time to delivery and avoiding having to rebuild data flows for Hadoop. So all of these mappings and workflow could have very well been part of your power center uh, repository. All that we had to do was import these mappings over and we have the ability to run this on Hadoop. Now let's go and take a look at the status of this um, workflow that we just ran. I'm logging into the monitoring console I had to open up the DIS instance and open up specifically the application under which the workflow was running. The workflow has completed. 
the workflow when I open up this has multiple um, mappings uh, and tasks as part of it. These are mapping tasks and this is the email task that was completed. Each mapping task in turn breaks down into multiple um, Hive scripts that are executed on the cluster, on the Hadoop cluster. In this case, I can choose a particular script and open up the details on the script and go into a Hive query. If needed, I can look at the actual Hive query or I can look at the properties of the Hive query, which includes the MapReduce job that was executed as, as part of this Hive query on the Hadoop cluster. I could drill down into the details on this job and take a look at the uh, mapping task, for example, and drill down deeper uh, and look at all the associated logs for this uh, mapping task. And that gives us a very powerful ability to debug uh, jobs that are run in the Hadoop cluster from the monitoring console that Informatica provides. And as you can see, it's visually um, very easy uh, from a usability standpoint to drill down from a workflow into the mappings and into the Hive queries and then track the execution of a particular Hive query on the Hadoop cluster by locating the MapReduce job and even the mapping task and the reducer, reducer task. Okay, now that the mapping has completed, let's take a look at the um, eventual target, which is the Oracle Data Warehouse uh, and, and the table in it. And let's run a data viewer on that. In this case, it is, um, it is a Oracle table so um, I have opened this up here. I can open up the physical data object related to that table and run a data viewer on the data that was loaded into this table. So this is the um, Oracle table and we see that a lot of data has been loaded into the um, Oracle table. Customer ID is one zero triple one four nine two it has Arman uh, who's the customer uh, from this company and uh, it so happens that his risk and popularity appetite matches the um, stock SVU and so we make all of that recommendation in this data warehouse that can be used efficiently by customers who log into the ABC Bank website that brings us to the end of the demo thank you very much